With the pomp and ceremony usually displayed at convocations, Merrick Gertler was officially installed as the University of Toronto's 16th president. What are you looking most forward to being president of the University of Toronto? Well, I think uh, one of the things that really appeals to me about the job is being able to use uh, this position as a way to both advance the standing of the University of Toronto and make uh, experience better for our students, while at the same time doing a lot of good things for the City of Toronto and uh, the Toronto region. Cities mean a lot to Gertler. He spent an entire career learning and teaching about cities, and that's how he views the university, a city within a city. We often use that metaphor uh, that um, if you think of the University of Toronto as a city, then it is indeed composed of these much smaller neighborhoods where students really have that very strong identity. It could be their college, it could be their department, it could be their campus. What is that connection that this t university has yeah. with this city? Well, there are a lot of great connections already. Our students love to get out into the community through the coursework that they're doing, engaging in experiential learning and service learning. Uh, so we have students working in Regent Park, in Kingston Galloway and Orton Park in Scarborough, all over Peel Region. Um, and it's a win-win for them because they get to uh, learn a lot by uh, working in the community. The U of T is Canada's largest university. At more than 80,000, it has the largest student population, the largest faculty, and offers the most courses of any university in the country. But its sheer size is both a blessing and a challenge. It does force us to think hard about how we make students feel welcome, we make students feel like they're part of a smaller community. So we've been working pretty hard over the last five or ten years to create much smaller communities within a very big place. But at the same time, the scale is an asset for us um, because it means that if you're a student coming to the University of Toronto, uh, not only are you coming to a place that is globally ranked in one ranking after another as being uh, you know, very well regarded around the world, but what that means is you're coming to a place where world ranked scholars are teaching you every day. But in a world of fast-moving technology, traditional post-secondary institutions are trying to come up with ways to stay relevant. The online world is exploding, as we know, and it creates lots of threats, but also lots of opportunities. The threats are that uh, universities are no longer the only source for um, knowledge. There are all kinds of sources out there. And um, so the first point is to recognize that Having said that, we have found that our students still really crave that face-to-face -face interaction with faculty um, and the opportunity to build that relationship to get involved in a research project uh, or um, to go on a field trip, those kinds of things. So those in-person experiences are still really important. Not only does Gertler want to keep the U of T relevant, he wants to see the university climb the global rankings. It's currently ranked 20th on the prestigious Times Higher Education World University rankings. His second goal is to raise $2 billion. Much of it will go towards scholarships. That openness and accessibility is something that we want to enhance to make sure that every student that is academically qualified to come to the University of Toronto is able to come and is able to finish their program um, and not be held back for reasons that relate to financial means. The third thing is I really want to make this a University of Toronto. I really want Torontonians to feel like the University of Toronto plays a very positive role in their daily life, that it contributes to the well-being of the city uh, and that it makes us all better. Uh, and so if I can achieve those three things, I will consider my job to have been a success.